Hi guys, I'm Katherine Schwarzenegger and this is Ask Kat for InStyle.com. And this week we are here with home style expert, Emily Henderson. Hi guys. <laughs> and she is going to show me how to style my bookcase. I've lived in this apartment for a few months now and I always like to mix things up. So I'm really excited for her to help me restyle them. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so badly styled, is that the right word? Poorly styled? Did I poorly style my bookcase? No, you didn't. Okay. But poorly styled bookcases are just like, you know, riddling America basically. Because people have too much stuff. They're just yeah. like throwing yeah. stuff up there and they like all the individual pieces, but when you get them all together, unless you have some sort of method to it, it uh -huh. just looks like chaos. Okay. So you've done a good job with these books. Um, it's always good to work within a color palette. Okay. So you don't have to be super, you know, like you have right here black, white, red, and pink, and it makes it look all nice and cohesive. Okay, good. And then I like to rotate the book so you have some that are horizontal, like these, and some that are vertical, like mm -hmm. these. Okay. And also see how it keeps your eye bouncing, so like horizontal, 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 then vertical, vertical, vertical. So you don't want all the vertical on one side and all the horizontal so it has on the like other side. Fluidity. Yeah, fluidity. Yeah. Fluidity. All right, so you have all these rectangular objects, otherwise known as books. So now we need to add some more sculptural objects. Okay. So you have this really cute bookend. We can add that there. Um, hold this guy. Let's put <laughs> this guy there. See how, you know, they're just adding more of a okay. contrast and shape. Put that right here. Yeah, all right, it's coming along. The, the bookcase is a really good place to display smaller pieces of art. So you have this guy, which could be cute. Just too just lean in there. Awesome. And then you always need something personal. You don't want it to look like a catalog or yeah. like somebody else styled it, like me. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna do that anyway. Yeah. So it's always good to add a little bit of you in here, assuming that this is you. Luckily it is. <laughs> good, perfect. And then a little bit of quirk. So is there anything that we should know about putting too much? Like when do you know when to stop? You want every shelf to feel engaged, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want it to be half empty. But at the same time, if you have too many small pieces, it will look really chaotic. So I think balancing some larger accessories with, with some smaller ones mm -hmm. is key and just not having a bunch of small accessories. You mean so I wouldn't put like this butterfly with this animal? Because it would be too yes. clinky. Okay, got yes. it. Yes, and they would compete and fight. It's like telling your eye what to do. Okay. Whereas if you just had all the hot pink and red here, that would look weird. Okay. Right? It would look really off balance. Okay. There you are, your well-styled bookcase. Thank you so much. I love the way it turned out. I'm obsessed. <laughs> and if you guys have any food, fashion, beauty, or home decor questions, make sure to submit them online using the hashtag AskCat, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>